So, hello, hello, hello. Well, today something a bit different um, than a book review. Uh, these are my old overalls when I was uh, working for the London Ambulance Service. Um, well, it was a while back now in the 90s. Um, I saw a good few years in, uh, working as a paramedic. Um, the reason why... Hello, hello, Bobby. You okay, pup? You all right, Bobby? The reason why was because I was in a very serious uh, motorcycle accident that very nearly took my life. And um, I was so taken by the care that I was given. Um, these, these, these kids just did not quit. I was all set to quit. To be honest with you, I was, I was done with it. Ah, Bubba, he's under the edges again, isn't it? <laughs> I was all set to quit, to be honest with you. Um, because uh, I thought I was just going to die anyway and I was in such pain I just thought I just would rather be dead <laughs> but this girl called Sarah um, she was a paramedic she convinced me not to die keep going keep going keep going so probably a couple of hours later the fire brigade turned up they were busy they were putting out a fire somewhere and the accident happened uh, on the Marlow Road outside of Henley in, um, well it's in Oxen and, and, and ultimately um, yeah, I was under this car. I was trapped under this bloody car for a Volvo. <laughs> they're boxy, but they're good. <laughs> for, a, for nearly two hours, probably more actually. And um, all the time, this, this girl was just holding my hand. Oh, keeping me alive. You know, high five. <laughs> and uh, so I thought, well, really? And, and when I got out of hospital about, whoa, it was about eight months later, because just about everything that could be broken was broken. Um, I thought, well, what can I do? Because I can't do what I was doing at the time, which was roof tiling. Um, no way can I do that anymore. So I just thought, well, why not be a paramedic? I saw the advert in the paper and I thought, my God, this is just just do, do meant to be, you know. So um, let's have a look around the, around the uniform, as it were. <laughs> so that is, is a very important six, six star. That's the Star of Asclepius, I think they call it, and um, it's it's the he was the god of uh, the Greek god of medicine. So you each point represents a different thing. The serpents attached around the the rod, as it were, or the star in this case. So it's detection at the top, if I remember rightly. Uh, then you've got response. Then you've got reporting, and then you've got unseen care. And then you've got care in transit, obviously, which is the, this, this part of the star. And then you've got transfer to sort of ultimate definitive care. Uh, obviously, it might, might, my, my uniform wore the paramedic uh, uh, bits. I didn't always wear them, actually, because I noticed that uh, when, um, when I wore them, people would clutch to me if, if, if they were desperate, like mums and people that had lost children. You know, they would die. Ah, it was quite, quite hectic. I, attend, I have to explain. I used to work in St George's Hospital on the Blackshaw Road in Tooting and um, we were in very much close to very many motorway points and so I, the majority of things that I attended were motorway accidents. Uh, sounds weird I know but let's trust what it was, it was true. And so um, there were a lot of tragedies because obviously little children go first in, in car crashes in car wrecks. Adults tend to bounce whereas little children tend to well, they, 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 don't, they don't survive, put it that way, as, as often. Um, so it was a, very tragic to explain to... Uh, anyway, I don't want to go there really, to be honest with you, because it brings back too many memories. But, um, yeah, so they had, they had these uh, Velcro pockets, these, these, you know, these overalls, coveralls, and you had your pens in there and stuff, you know. Not that I ever wore pens. <laughs> Hello, Sergeant. Wait, what, what, I see you've got a new biro. <laughs> And you, you had leg pockets here. Never actually remember ever putting anything in them, to be honest with you. And you had obviously adjustable, uh, uh, you, you know, the, 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 everything's adjustable. The sleeves, you know, the, the, the ankles, all the, all the rest of it. Even, even you've got an adjustment on the hem. I'd, I doubt I'd fit into this now, I can tell you. But uh, I used to fit into it. It looks like my, my arse is still in there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> anyway, I, I really appreciate you guys and girls supporting my channel. I, I hope this doesn't um, make you unsubscribe in any way. But, um, yeah, that's what I used to do f f for, 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 for my sins. Um, 
Ah, and uh, and well, yeah, it was all good. When you have, what you have to understand is in in the, the ambulance service, you you, you develop a very strange sense of humour, which is probably why you're all thinking, what is he on about when I make comments on, on, on your channels? But um, there was a, my, my mentor was a bloke called John, who was wonderful. And, and sometimes you see some seriously gnarly things, <laughs> but he always found humour in, in, in it and, and made me feel positive. So there you go. Anyway, I was very proud of being working for St. George's more than anything. St. George's is a massive teaching hospital in Tooting Broadway, um, I whoa, yeah, what a what a what a pleasure, what an honour. Um, I learnt so much, and um, uh, and the nurses were very pretty. <laughs> Mish Bonnie Penny. <laughs> anyway, all the very best wishes. Thanks ever so much for watching. Cheers.